A number of satellites are keeping tabs on Hurricane Maria as the dangerous storm churns its way through the Caribbean. Imagery captured over the past four days by the GOES East satellite, for example, shows Maria strengthening to a Category 5 hurricane, the most powerful type, and slamming into the island of Dominica last night September 18. Maria is currently a potentially catastrophic hurricane moving west-northwest with maximum sustained wind speeds of 160 miles per hour 260 kmh, according to the latest update from the U.S. National Hurricane Center NHC. The storm is expected to move near or over the Virgin Islands in Puerto Rico tomorrow September 20, NHC officials wrote. See videos of Hurricane Maria from Space Hurricane Maria moves across the Caribbean Sea as a Category 5 storm. Credit Nisano goes the storm's impending arrival has forced the huge Arecibo Observatory, a 1,000-foot-wide 305-meters radio dish in Puerto Rico, to cease operations through Thursday, September 21. The Global Precipitation Measurement GPM satellite, a joint effort of the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency and NASA, got a dramatic look at Maria's turbulent interior yesterday. GPM's observations revealed a thunderstorm cell inside Maria that reached up into the stratosphere. On September 18, 2017, the Jackson Asa Global Precipitation Measurement Satellite saw a cell of precipitation in Hurricane Maria that stretched into the lower stratosphere to an altitude of 10.4 miles 16.75 kilometers. Credigno and Kalena Sahaxa enough water vapor was condensing into rain inside of the cell that rapid updrafts developed, rapid enough to lift the precipitation until it froze, and then even higher until it penetrated into the lower stratosphere at 16.75 km 10.4 miles altitude, Owen Kelly, of NASA Goddard's precipitation processing system, said in a statement. And, early this morning, NASA's Aquas satellite got a look at Maria in infrared light. Measurements by a quasi moderate resolution imaging spectroradiometer instrument found cloud top temperatures of thunderstorms in that hurricane's eye wall to be a maximum of minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit minus 62 degrees Celsius. Cloud top temperatures that cold indicate strong storms that have the capability to create heavy rain, NASA officials wrote in the same statement. This infrared image of Hurricane Maria's frigid cloud top temperatures was captured by the MODIS instrument aboard NASA's Aqua satellite on September 19 at 2.15 a.m. EDT 0615 GMT, as the storm moved through the Leeward Islands. Credit NASA enrolled the photos by GOES East, which is operated by the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration and NASA, also show Hurricane Jose moving north, a few hundred miles off the U.S. east coast. GOES is short for Geostationary Operational Environmental Satellite. Jose is a Category 1 hurricane, with maximum sustained winds near 75 miles per hour 120 kmh, according to NHC officials. Forecasts predict that Jose will remain offshore of the American mainland, but the storm has brought high swells and increased rainfall to much of the eastern seaboard. Follow Mike Wall on Twitter at Mitchell Dwall and Google. Follow us at space.com. Facebook or Google. Originally published on space.com.